Hello everyone and welcome to Persona 5 Royal. Uh, me and Persona have a short history. Um, I remember purchasing Persona 5 when it first came out. I got the cool um, steelbook that came out with it, but I did not open it. There's a little story with that. So I did buy it. I did buy it on release date. But then I realized, well, I'm a broke college kid because this is mm, 2016, I want to say. And I didn't really have much money, so I'm like, okay... Do I open it? Do I play it? Do I open it? Do I play it? So they're stat on my desk, collecting dust. And then I made the ultimate sacrifice, get your angry comments ready. I actually returned it because, you know, $60, broke, really need money, and so I returned it. It wasn't until maybe a year or two after that point where I actually bought it because it was on sale. Um, and I played it, played it, played it. Got through the first palace, it was great, I was having a blast. And then I kind of petered out around the middle of the second palace. And then I saw that Royal was coming out, so I was like, alright, well, I actually like the game, I enjoy it. So we have to get into it, you know, stick with it, I really want to beat it. So it comes out, and I pretty much lose my life for the last month and a half of playing it. So I did complete it, um, this is my playthrough that I'm going to put up on the channel. Um, so my play first playthrough, I maybe maybe maxed a couple people, one or two, three, maybe maybe about four confidence I actually maxed. Um, they definitely did help in battle, so I'm excited to see if I can max them all out in a playthrough. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do that, look some things up, see how I do certain things, and hopefully I'll be able to get a close to, if not 100% completion. Hopefully get everyone maxed, get some powerful personas. And I think we're going to up the difficulty a little bit from what I was doing. And I hate how it goes to do the intro again. And you can't skip it. Doesn't matter how much you press on the button. It literally just wants you to see the Atlas symbol. MP Studios. And before I was interrupted, let's start a new game and get it started. This story is a work of fiction. Similarities between characters or events to persons living or dead in your world are purely coincidental. Only those who have agreed to the above have the privilege of partaking in this game. The contract has been sealed. The world is not as it should be. It's filled with distortion, and ruin can no longer be avoided. Those who oppose fate and desire change. From time to time, they were referred to as tricksters. You are the trickster. Now is the time to rise against the abyss of distortion. Alright, boyish voice, I'm going to start running. Alright, 
You got it, mysterious people. Well, yeah, I like to show off my flair. No, oh, I went ahead of the actual, like, game. Oh, I'm enjoying the music. Alright. Sacrificial Prior Keeper. So it's our first enemy of the game. It, you really you have to probably try to uh, actually lose this. So um, we'll use our persona, which is question mark. Can't even, uh, <laughs> you can't even see who it is right now. So we have Itagon, which is a heavy curse damage to one foe. And Brave Blade uses 106 of our HP for a colossal physical damage to one foe. All right, doesn't really matter what combination you do, either way, the big Minotaur guy's gonna die. All right. Normally, if you see the eyes like that, it's a critical, but... And he's gonna light us on fire, he's gonna do 100 damage. I'll let you show off all the attacks. There we go, he has a sliver left. I wonder what happens if you actually do die. Eh, let's not figure it out. And for some added flare, bang bang. I wish you can double tap. Like, bang bang. Well, I'm sure I did. More of them. But I don't fight these guys. I'm pretty sure if I did fight these guys, I probably would have died. Mmm. Yeah, I think the sound right there is better. Sorry, I'm just messing around with the sound. There's a lot of music in this game. Got to balance between my voice and the actual music. Look, the door. You got to go this way to proceed. You should be able to get out that way. Hurry. Thank you, girl's voice. Dude, can you even hear us? Thank you, boy's voice. Don't worry. I'm taking up everyone's voices. Just go, Joker. <laughs> everyone's voices. Rot row. Come on, Scoob. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get to the rest of the Scooby gang. Tish, we got away from a bunch of those guys in black, but there's all shitloads more. I'm pretty sure I just added that to it. Winner take all. Victory addiction. Everyone's an enemy. Success, success, success. Just try saying that three times what? fast. Up ahead, stop! This is bad. Hi, Joker! You'll never get away if you keep fighting. Hide in the shadows and sneak past them when you see an opening. Ah, eh, nonsense. It's only one guy. Hey, you sure you came this way? Understood. I'll continue to search. You hurt? Right. Now's your chance. Make a run for it. What? Okay. I was like, why isn't he moving? Ugh. How many of these guys are there? Everything's okay. The security level might rise if you take too much time. I know, I know. I'm looking for another route. Just hang on. Oh, perfect timing, Joker. Look up. Can you use that thing? Just fly over. <laughs> just, that, just that thing. The thing has a name. But it doesn't have a name yet because it's just introduced. Super duper zip cord powers activate. And of course I had to do a backflip for add it anime flare. Alright, go straight in there. 
Oh, you mean the obvious boss arena that's super wide open? I do like this uh, cutscene though. Obviously, I'm not going to try to talk over all of the cutscenes because they're badass and they deserve respect. Than this right now. Joker, it's her. She's the weird reading I've been getting. My weak self relied on you so much. That ends today. Let's do this, Senpai! Okay, mysterious girl, let's just do it. The enemy readings have decreased? That's... Yes, boyish voice. And the game's like, ah, dot, dot. Can't tell you yet. It's my turn to come Spoilers. To now let's win this. By win this, I mean use one attack and then she'll take over and show how OP she is right now. So let's just use this. Oh yeah, I I want her to get the critical because her little background thing's cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> looks so bad right there. I go from critting the two guys and then the last guy I miss. It seems like something I would do. It said beauty and something. I want to say beauty and devotion, but I don't think that's what that was. I genuinely have no clue what just happened, but I take it you're okay? Wait, bad news. Enemy backups headed your way. You need to book it right now. Please go. I'm going to make it harder for them to track you down. You still have something you need to do. Obviously not too much. Ooh, spoilers. Then I won't stop you. Since I'm not a member of the Phantom Thieves, I'm in no position to interfere. However, please don't forget the promise we made, okay? Foreshadowing. Sorry to interrupt your regular schedule, Persona 5 with Persona 5 Royal. Let's return to normal Persona 5. And again, I also think it's funny how they let you control right there just to walk up the steps and then cutscene. Suspect. 
Back secure. Didn't expect to find some kid. You have your teammate to thank for this. You were sold out. Suspect confirmed. Cuff it. Guess the drug was too strong. Wake him up. No dozing off. You still don't get it, do you? Give it up! <laughs> Come on, cooperate! Well, what? You want another shot? Huh? What about the camera? Are you thinking it can be used as video evidence? Uh, I'm probably not going to say anything. And now uh, we'll say, of course not. Doesn't really matter, but... So, you're not that dumb. Nope. Which is good. Because we get to take as much time as we need! <coughs> Obstruction of justice, blackmail, defamation, possession of weapons. Manslaughter too, yeah? Talk about the works. To think that all those crimes were led by a punk like this. And you seem to be enjoying every second of it. Huh? Was I enjoying it? Everything's hazy. I can't remember. What a weird way to set up difficulty. Alright, so I was actually thinking about doing Merciless, but... Uh, I actually want to enjoy the game. I don't want to get burned out from dying rep um, over. I was gonna say repetitively, but over and over and over and over and over and over. Um, because the way Merciless works is, from what I understand and what I read up on, is that criticals and weaknesses do double damage. Which, that's pretty much what you're gonna want to do. And for the most part, you can make battles probably easy, not boss fights, because you actually have to know the patterns with precision or else it'll destroy you you'll get blown back um, normal battles if you have a counter the weakness and have a lot of crits yeah you'll be fine you'll be able to destroy them no problem because if you they can't attack you can't be killed and you'll have a good time so we're not gonna do that because I actually want to enjoy the game um, safe is funny I, I don't even know how the game would work for those who wish to enjoy the story, if you fall in battle, you can retry as many times as you'd like. Note that you cannot change the difficulty. One select and next option. That's really funny. Like, you can't make it difficulty if you choose safe? That'd be interesting just to see how that works. That works. Easy. For those looking for a casual experience, battles are optimized for beginning players, and you can change difficulty at any time. This choice will not affect the story. Normal. For those who want a balanced between exciting gameplay and a riveting story, you can change the difficulty at any time. This choice will also not affect the story. I like how they had to put that. I was like, this choice will not affect story. Okay. That means one of these should have affected story. But I digress. For those seeking expert level challenge with little margin of error in battle, you can change the difficulty anytime. The most difficult setting, tailored just for those who seek a ruthless, brutal challenge. You can change the difficulty anytime. This choice will not alter the story. We're not going to do that. We're going to do hard. Because I did normal, and towards the end it kind of got repetitive and it kind of was easy. So we're going to do hard. And hopefully I don't regret it. But the gaming gods, you can change the difficulty at any times. In case we, uh, you know, P 
pee out for lack of uh, not wanting to say things that will go a little bit overboard on YouTube. So we're going to select hard. Do you wish to begin the game with hard difficulty? Yes. Yes, I do. You should know your place. <laughs> I literally just wanted to yell, you. I think it's funny how like I have contacts for this Sign whole here. thing. But I'm not sure if it's an mm, maybe. But I don't think so. It's a confession under your name. Understand it's like I think you just take it and then for whatever reason if you say nothing you slap it away. I think that's the edgy thing to do, so we're gonna do that. Get this out of my face! See, I need your hand to sign this, but Oh god, he's getting out his secret weapon. I don't care. His googly eyes and his foot. Don't expect to walk out of here in one piece. We are oh, that going really to makes make you, want you understand. Sign. One must take full responsibility for their actions. Ugh. I got my ass kicked. What's my name again? Oh, I remember... Uh, what is it? I remember my first name, but I, I don't know who my family is. I just know Adam. Uh, HM04. Okay, I'm gonna cut it. So, for role playing purchases, we're gonna put Adam HM04. Um, his normal name, I think, is Yu Akira. I could be wrong, or it could be Akira Yu, one of the two, but for this playthrough, for role-playing purposes, and for channel branding, obviously, we're going to go with Adam HMO4. Adam HMO4, Ugh, is that my name? I think so. Or is it the name of that thing I got from that crazy warden that one time for her golden teeth? I don't know, but I'm going to put it down anyway. I'm finished. And like as soon as he hands it back, oh wait, I remember my name now. Oh wait, too late now. Excuse me, but this area is off. I'm Nijima from the public prosecutor's office. The prosecutor's office? What business do you have here? Just let me through, it's urgent. There's something I need to confirm with the suspect. Nijima-san. I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. Besides... Are you Prosecutor Sai Nijima? I just got off the phone with your director. Hurry and get it over with. To be frank, you're being an inconvenience. That's unfortunate. Uh, I thought I ordered you to stand by. I also want to just throw this out there. The SIU director sounds like an older Garrus Vicarian. Oh, now I've just ruined his character for her. Sorry. 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 I'm responsible for this case, yet I'm not even being allowed in interrogation? I'm calling because I knew you'd bring it up. I will not be convinced unless I confirm it for myself. This is my case. Uh, good luck to you, then. I won't be expecting much, though. Ah, Prosecutor, I forgot to mention something important. Your time will be cut short. We can't permit you to talk with him for long. <sighs> it's for your own sake. His methods are unknown, after all. We don't even know if it's safe to simply meet and speak with him. I understand. I didn't expect it'd be you. You'll be answering my questions this time. <sighs> Those bastards. 
Can you hear me? It seems you've been through a lot. Almost anything can happen here. And I can't stop them. That's why I need you to answer me honestly. I don't have much time either. What was your objective? Why did you cause such a major incident? I didn't think it was a prank from the get-go, but I couldn't assemble a case for prosecution. It's because I couldn't figure out the method behind it. Ugh. Of course you couldn't. Why do you want to know? Yeah. Why do you want to know? This isn't an issue of whether or not it can be used in court. I need to know. This is my case, after all. It seems you're coherent. When and where did you find out about that world? How is it even possible to steal another's heart? Now, tell me your account of everything. Start from the very beginning. Well, first off, I'm the main character. And because I'm the main character, I have specific powers. And plot That's what's going on. Hmm? Huh? Uh. And tomorrow's task is shared. Hints. If you're ever confused about what to do or where to go next, look to the upper right corner of the screen to view various hints. Oh, 
our hints right now or head to your new lodging and enter the subway station. But we'll do that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed our introduction here to Persona 5 Royal. Um, like I said, this is a very long game. Hopefully I don't get you know, lost and spend 100 hours just trying to find our lodging and subway systems. Um, because later in the game you become heavily reliant on fast travel. Right now you have to do everything on foot. No fast travel right now. But we'll go over that and hopefully won't get lost in the next episode. But until next time, I've been Adam, this has been HMO4 Gaming, and this has been Persona 5 Royal. Thank you very much. Have a great night.